four people linked to the Conservative Party hierarchy and the Prime Minister himself uh, are now being investigated by the uh, UK Gambling Commission. Um, one of them is the Conservative Party's Director of Campaigning. Another is his wife, who's also a candidate in this coming election for Bristol North West. Another is a parliamentary aide to Rishi Sunak. And a fourth one is a police officer who was part of the Prime Minister's protection detail. Now, um, every day there seems to be more revelations on this, and it's just gathering. It's the last thing that Rishi Sunak needs. He's struggling anyway. He's well behind, according to virtually every credible published poll. And this just feeds into the idea that he hasn't moved decisively, that these people have been able to do this, and he hasn't taken swift action. The opposition leader, Sakia Starmer, of course, is using it as an opportunity to say, I wouldn't have tolerated this for a moment. They all would have been out. But uh, Rishi Sunak is not taking that sort of action. And John, as you say, Rishi Sunak and the Conservatives quite behind in the polls. How are these investigations and these revelations likely to impact the Conservatives' campaign? Well, Bridget, as we all know, polls uh, can be wrong, but in this case, it would mean virtually every published poll here was wrong. For example, there's a new one in the Daily Telegraph out today, which is a fairly supportive uh, a newspaper of the Tory side of politics. Devastating poll. Essentially, that the Tories would be wiped out is the word they use. According to this poll, and we're only two weeks out from Election Day, July 4, Labor would win 516 seats uh, and, and and uh, the Tories would have 53. Not only would Mr Sunak lose his own seat, as would the Chancellor of the Exchequer, but three quarters of Rishi Sunak's cabinet, the current cabinet of the UK, would lose their seats if these polls are accurate. So the Tories are facing an absolute wipeout. They may claw some of this back in the final two weeks, but it's certainly looking very grim for the Conservative side of politics here.